everybody. It's Friday. It's here. <laughs> it has been a week around here. I hope you guys have had a better week than I have. Whew, I, uh, of course the Facebook app is updating on my iPad, so I can't see anything. Um, hello. I see a couple of you jumping on. It is going to be a fun set of projects today. Um, but fair warning, I am a mess. I am off my game. So who knows what's going to happen today? Who knows? So just prepare to be patient. <laughs> um, it has been one of those weeks where everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. Um, I'll have to tell you guys the story of my new washer and dryer. Um, there's a story about a rusty wire. I mean, it has been a week. So I will bore you with those details in a little while, but let's see. Oh, come on, Facebook, open up. All right, well, I'm just going to jump in. You guys, it is February 24th, so that means we have four days, so really like three and a half days, counting today, left of celebration. This is the only celebration that Stampin' Up! is going to have this year. We're not having a summer celebration anymore. Um, so if there's anything in here that you want, make sure you get it. Um, the only thing not available in here is the Dainty Designs DSP. Did I say that right? Um, and there's also, if you have everything in here you want, there's also a whole slew of new selections, including some embossing folders, punches, um, kits, paper. So make sure you check those out, okay? And then this is the last opportunity to get the cute little baby, the blue baby. This is the mini cut and emboss machine. It is free when you buy your starter kit. $129 for the starter kit. You get $175 in product plus this cutie. And I'll, that will be the only time that it's available. Um, so if you're interested in the starter kit, uh, at the bottom of today's post and on today's PDF, there are details and a link there for you. All right, good. Thank you, Facebook. I mean, can you just decide to update not on Fridays at 2 o'clock, please? I only use my iPad during Facebook Live, so, of course, it's going to, uh, you know, turn on and then be like, oh, wait, we've got to update. Okay, so today we are using this bundle. How many of you have said you don't want or need this bundle? How many of you have said, I like it, but I don't know what to do with it? I've got three adorable projects for you today. Um, I have fun. I, have, I love when we get a stamp set that's unlike anything I've ever had. So then I kind of have to think outside the box and get kind of creative. And the 3D project that we're going to do today was actually my middle daughter, Emma. It was her idea. Um, I always ask them, guys, I have a stamp set that has such and such. What kind of treat can I use? And my husband's really good at coming up with things, but this time it was Emma. So, um, that third project today I'll show you has a fun treat in it. Also, the second card is a card that moves. It slides. I laid in bed one night not, not being able to sleep, and this idea popped in my head, and I couldn't wait to make it. So I can't wait to show you. So make sure you jump over to pinkbuckaroo.com, grab the free PDF that's there. It has the measurements and the supplies. Okay, I'm going to run through a couple of things real quick. My um, bunnies and carrots class. Today is the last day to register. There are six, four, five, six spots, six kits left. I've already started cutting and sorting, so I've put a limit on it. If you want this kit, they will ship at the end of next week. Um, the punch is no longer available, but option two without the stamp set and punch is available, and you can order it in May, the, that punch. It's coming back in May. Okay, so last opportunities for that. Um, on today's free PDF, there's a link right there that will give you all the details, okay? Um, the second thing I want to tell you is the Country Floral Lane um, PDF is this month's free all-star tutorial class bundle PDF. It's a long name. Um, 15 projects, 15 tutorials, all featuring the Country Floral Lane suite. 
Um, mine is super cute like this. They're not specifically Valentine's Day projects, um, although I think this was maybe designed with Valentine's in mind. There's a lot of non-Valentine things in here. You can get this free when you spend $50 with me online, or you can buy it in my PDF store for $15, or you can join my team because they always get my PDFs for free. Um, I have been better at sending these out this month. I am, I think I sent them out at the beginning of the week. I send them out about once a week. So when you order, you have to wait for me to email it to you. If you don't want to wait, just send me an email. Say, can you please send me that PDF? I, I don't want to wait. Um, but anyway, next month is the, um, by the bay, by the bay suite, by the bay. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I've got a fun little box here for you for that one. So that one will come out March 1st. March 1st, there are some other things coming out, some online exclusives. We talked a little bit about them last week, and I'm going to be using one of the stamp sets on my third project today. Um, so March 1st, Celebration earn ends February 28th. That's the end of getting free stuff. But starting March 1st, can you guys tell I'm having a hard time. When I, when I have like stressful weeks, I have a hard time getting a deep breath. You guys do that? My body's like, ah! Anyways, March 1st, brand new product. So that should get us excited. Online exclusives. Um, we demonstrators have gotten to see some of it, but not all of it. So tune in. Next week, I believe I will be using that product for Facebook Friday. Um, okay. I have a couple left of this month's paper pumpkin. If you didn't get, if you're, something happened and you didn't get your paper pumpkin this month, message me, email me. I got a couple extras. Um, this one's really, really cute. It, it had, coordinates with the rain and rain or shine suite. And the cards are just the cutest. So, so, so cute. The dies that they had for, for this kit, the add-on dies sold out. <coughs> um, but you don't need the dies to make the projects. So if you'd like it, let me know. Okay, and then last but not least, I am moving quickly today because projects take a little while, take a little time today. My um, Club Create for March is the Rain or Shine Suite. Um, subscription period for my Club Create for March is open right now through March 7th. Um, when you subscribe to Club Create, you get a kit that has five projects. I'm trying to pick them all up so I can hold them in my hand. Has five projects in it plus about $20 in product. And um, if you stick around for six months, you subscribe for six months, you get a $25 product bonus on your six month, um, in your six month kit. All right, so that information, click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog and you can find all the details for that. Um, next month's gonna be kind of weird. We're going on a spring break trip, spring break trip that um, second week of March. So things, hopefully I can stick to my normal timeline in March, getting things out, but things might be a little off in March, but there's a firm deadline, March 7th, to subscribe to that. Okay, so um, where are my prizes? I have one prize this week. Around the bend, Joan Gordon, you are the winner. Joan, I do believe I have your mailing address. Thank you for sharing my video. I really appreciate it. When you share our videos, guys, it helps us find new customers, which is the whole point, right, of having this as a business, trying to find new people to stamp with. So thank you. Appreciate it. Um, next week, if you'd like to be a winner, just share the video either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will give away two of these spring blessings. Spring is in the air, you guys, for sure. Yesterday was super hot, and when I tell you what happened to me on Monday, it was because I was wearing shorts. It was very hot. So spring is right around the corner and this is a great stamp set. So I'll give away two of these next week. Make sure you write the comments that you shared. Um, okay, so Facebook Friday, if you haven't joined me before, we make three projects, usually with one product. And this week's product is on the ocean bundle. And um, if you like today's projects and you would like for me to send you a kit, a make and take kit, then all you have to do is put in an order online between now and Monday at midnight. The minimum requirement for that order is $35. But during celebration, I would think you'd probably bump it to 50 so you can get something for free. But you don't have to. But you do have to use the host code. You'll see it when I flip it around. It's also on today's PDF, on my blog post. I'll update the video. It'll be everywhere. 
okay? Um, the only thing I don't include in your Facebook Friday kits is the stamping. The like golden rule of Stampin' Up! Demonstrators is that you may not pre-stamp anything for anybody. I can cut a circle for you, I can cut some ribbon for you, I can score a line, I can even tie your bows, but I cannot stamp your stamps. So if you like the project, stay and you want them, maybe you have a different stamp set, you can use that in its place. Just know that anything that's stamped won't be stamped when you get your kit. That's the fun of it. You guys should do the stamping, not me. I do plenty already. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna get started. Today's projects are like a mess. So we're gonna do some more watercoloring. Let's see if I can turn you around. There you go. We're gonna do some watercoloring. We're gonna do some fancy folds. We're gonna do some embossing. It's gonna be fun. All of the, the projects that I have today, um, wanna come, you can click the link. They're linked under each photo on my blog. And you can click the link and it'll take you to that um, video on YouTube. And that way it's a little more smooth, a little less glitchy, a little less chit chat. Um, Peggy, you know, when I said spring is around the corner, I was thinking about some of you up north who are in like 3,000 feet of snow or whatever. I've seen the pictures. I'm sorry. Kayleen, I'm sorry. I just saw Utah pictures. I apologize. But spring is coming. Come on. Spring is coming. You guys know. You guys know. Winter's got to, she's got to get it out one more time and then hopefully <laughs> you guys are letting me have it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spring is coming for all of you. I promise. I promise. Hey, hasn't it been a pretty mild winter though? I feel like everywhere has had a pretty mild winter except for this week. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't kill the Texan. We don't know what winter is down here. Okay. Our first card, we're gonna do a watercolor background. Um, the first thing, there's two ships in this set. You can stamp it or you can die cut it. And that's what we're gonna do here. I like the die cut ship better, I think, because it has more details. We're gonna do this twice and we'll do this once. Um, of course, this is way easier than, than this, but whatever, they both are great. Um, so the first thing I thought about this was kind of a stormy background, right? Um, we can weather this together. Um, hoping your year is full of adventure and excitement. I'd be lost without you. I was just, I don't know. I could see, you know, the ship on a stormy sea. So I actually made this. This was my swap card for my team swap last month. And, um, I'm going to show you how to make these quick watercolor backgrounds. All right. We're going to use, um, we're going to use shimmer white again. We, we used this last week for our sunset. Um, you can use shimmer white. You can also use watercolor. I've been using shimmer white lately just because I have more of it. And it, it doesn't have texture, um, but it is sparkly, which I kind of like when it adds some sparkle to my projects. Um, what else was I going to say about that? I don't know. All right, this is, <laughs> I've taped it down to some chipboard. And I tape it down with just painter's tape that you get at the hardware store um, to hold it down so that, because as soon as you get it wet, that paper is going to curl up and this just kind of keeps it in place. Um, I, you guys, I am, I'm telling you, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, it has been a week from, you know, where I am off my game. I'm distracted. <sighs> Hopefully I can get through this so that you guys can actually understand <laughs> what I'm doing. Candy says it's 90 degrees day today in Southwest Florida. Candy, you win. It's only in the 50s here today. You win. Um, but we had some close to 90s earlier in the week. Okay, I've got starry sky and I've got a quarter sheet of cardstock. And I'm just gonna do like this. These, I when I do a swap, I don't want anything to take a really long time. So this is what I did. I just did some swishes like this. And I lined them all up and I just went down the line and just swished. Okay, like that, boom, and I let it dry. Now, the more water you use, the less dark and intense it'll be. So you wanna really kind of use more ink, less water, okay? Um, then you gotta give it some time to dry. I think, I hope, on the back side I have, aha! There's one from yesterday and it's dry. Okay, so then let me move this. You wanna take your 
your water painter and then just boop, 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 boop. Do some splatters on there. Let it sit for a few seconds. I don't know how long, just, you know, whatever you feel. And then take your paper towel and dab it. Can you guys see how it leaves the little, the little water drops? And you could do like big drops, little drops. And I think maybe the, I'm not an expert on watercolor, but I think, well, I didn't want it aligned. Come on. Okay, well, that was supposed to be a big drop. Let's see if we can get a big drop. Boop, there we go. Um, I think the longer you leave it sitting there, the, the lighter the dot will be, maybe. Ooh, there, that's good. Look at that. Okay, so you guys can see all that. Um, okay, so then, you know, I'm not done because, of course, we got it. We just got to go over the top. I'm going to, we did this last week, didn't we? We did this recently. A little bit of craft white. A little tiny bit of water, just a tiny bit. I usually put too much, let's see. There we go. And then you're gonna do some splatter with this also, okay? This is my favorite part, I always like these big splatters. And then, hold on, there's more, we're not done. I'm gonna stuff that in there. I'm gonna move these over here, hold on. We don't want water spilled on any of our projects. Then take your dark um, Starry Sky Stampin' Blend and do some flicks. And now you've got a wild and crazy stormy sea. Don't you think? I love doing this. I could do this all day long. Um, sometimes when I'm designing, I'll just um, tape a bunch of paper to a bunch of chipboards and then just go down the line and just do different colors and different splatters and stuff just to make some fun backgrounds. So that's what I came up with. Here is what it looks like when it's done. Here are several different, this one I added salt and I decided, mm, I'm not sure if I like the salt. So I didn't do that anymore. This one was real intense. Look, I didn't use a whole lot of water. Look at that. So play around with it. Um, get some of this shimmer white cardstock. You can't use regular cardstock when you do this because it's going to pill and the water's going to soak in. It's not going to do right. So get some shimmer white or watercolor paper. Now, one thing I didn't do over here is you're going to actually need one for your background. Which one do I want to use? I like that one. And then you're going to need another little piece just to cut a, um, a swoosh, a, what am I trying to say? A wave. Okay. So I've got these scraps that we'll use for that. Now we got to cut this down to four by five and a fourth. So we'll do that. All right. So you guys, have you had a good week? I know some of you are like in snow apocalypse and I, I'm sorry, but you know, it only happens every now and then, right? Here, it just went straight to summer, like upper 80s. And the one of the things that has made my week H-E double hockey sticks is that I was wearing shorts on Monday. We went out to check on the house and there's been this rusty wire there that was from the, when they poured the, um, you know, the concrete. And I keep warning everybody about it. Watch the wire, don't trip on the wire. Well, guess who tripped on the wire? Yep, that would be me. And so then I'm like, great. I haven't had a tetanus shot in over 10 years. I remember specifically when I got a tetanus shot, it's been a long time. So then I had to go get a stinking tetanus shot. I'm a big baby when it comes to shots. The lady who gave me my shot said, honey, no one likes shots. Everyone's a baby. So I thought, okay, she's right. So I, you know, whatever. Now my arm hurts. It's hurt for days. It kept me up. Ugh. That's how my week started. So I'd rather have snow than a tetanus shot any day. <laughs> oh, I, I knew that if I would talk to you guys about it, then I would feel better, just vent and get it out. And there's been a debacle with the washer and dryer that we ended up buying. Remember last week I asked you guys about the washer and dryer. <sighs> That's a long story. I'll tell you that in a little while. It's just been a week. At 3.30 in the morning when I couldn't sleep because my arm hurt so bad, 
I was Googling, why does your arm hurt so bad when you get a tetanus shot? And one of the articles I found says that research, some research is suggesting that you probably don't even need tetanus boosters anymore. I didn't, I didn't appreciate that information. And then as I read on, it said, if you just get a scratch, then you're, you're okay, which was me. I got a scratch. Apparently tetanus, I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this, just so you know, tetanus um, lives in environments that have no oxygen. So for it to live, it has to be like a puncture, like gets down in your muscle in your leg or something, not just on the surface, but whatever. My mom told me to go get it. She said, y'all are working out there on that lot. You're moving stuff, doing stuff, just go get it. So I did. And I wanted to cry like a baby. I was wanted to treat myself with ice cream like I was a like a big baby. <sighs> Anyhow, let's make our ship, you guys. Feel sorry for me, okay? Everybody just oh poor Erica. All right, I have <laughs> I've cut out the boat bottom from Soft Suede. You've got these two different pieces, right? I cut this one from Soft Suede and this one from Very Vanilla so that I can put the um sails on here like that. So then really all you're seeing back here are these these lines and this was this the mass? I don't know what they're called. I don't know. Um you really you only need one very vanilla cloud. We've got a brushed metallic um flag and a very vanilla stylish shape um banner label. Okay. Oh, thank you guys. You're making me feel so bad. Don't send me flowers or anything. I'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Yes, I know. Poor Erica. Um, I know. Okay. <laughs> um, small blending brush. Ugh. Today has been a nightmare too for completely other reasons. And the, my husband has been texting me. He's working from a hunting house where he hunts how bored he is. I was like, look, dude, I don't want to hear about how bored you are today. I'm panicking over here with all these things that are going on. And don't be telling me you're bored. You know, they just, sometimes they just don't think before they speak. Ice cream is a remedy for everything. Thank you, Jean. I could not agree more. That, you just gave me permission to go get ice cream. I love ice cream. Mm, yes. All right, so we're going to glue this on here like that. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in Starry Sky. Virtual flowers. Thank you, Michelle. If you didn't treat yourself, I think you still qualify for ice cream therapy. Absolutely. You know, I was, what am I doing? I don't need that. For some reason, I had to go home real quick. Something had happened. I don't know, but I didn't get ice cream that day. Um, I will admit to you guys, I went to Walgreens to get it. And I'm such a baby that when I walked up to the counter, like the blood in my ears started like roaring. Like I was having like a panic reaction. I'm 46 years old. I've had three children. Why do I still react like that to, to shots? I don't know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, I'm going to stamp this. Hopefully I can get it straight. I'm going to stamp this over here on the right side because we only need part of it. And that's Starry Sky. And um, we need to cut out our waves. So let's do that. And then we'll put it all together. Um... The the stamp or the dies have two waves, and one of them I don't really like because it's skinny. Um, I feel like it's not enough. But if you use them together, see this one's just very skinny. If you do this one, you're going to need to use adhesive sheets. And I just meh, I don't want to do that. So what I did is I put them both down to kind of create like this section here in the middle, just kind of a you know a little piece of a wave. So let's run that through. Oh, you know, Patricia, I feel that way about the dentist too. Oh, I, and I'm like, calm down. Why do I react like this? I'm such a baby. See, there's your wave. That's all you need. This little, this other piece, see how it cuts out really skinny. So if you use that piece, which that is actually really, really pretty, you're definitely going to want to use an adhesive sheet on that first. I, since I have switched to my new dentist, it's been about five years, I haven't had well, I'm not going to say it, but you know, I haven't had to get a, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I still, 
every time I go in, I'm like, oh no, oh no. And you know how they, they poke around and they say, they're telling the, the girl who's on the computer, they're saying things I don't understand, you know, teeth words. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean a cavity? What does that mean? Ugh, it's like panic. <sighs> if my mom's on here, she's probably making fun of me. She's, I'm a baby. All right. We're putting this down with dimensionals and then we'll get this wave and we're just going to cut a section. I mean, just really, it's just whatever. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. Gum measurements, Christine. It sounds like they're saying, look at this tooth. It's questionable. I think we need to take it out. That's what it sounds like they're saying. 40 carpal, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It just is, it, again, the roaring in my ear starts. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to hear from you, you guys, all the hygienists. You are fine. I know, but still. All right, so see what I'm doing? All dimensionals, and then we'll put this right here. Mm, let's see, let's put it a little bit down like that. Let's get our, our um, what is this called? Cloud. And put that, we're going to cut it in half. We'll put one over here, and we will put um, oh, this one over here. All right, and then last but not least, let's do a big fuzzy linen thread bow. The lower the number, the better your gums. Oh, yes. You know what, Christine? She did tell me that because I'm not a flosser. And finally, about a year ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to become a flosser. And I flossed my teeth every day, every single day. And when I went in, she was like, oh, my gosh. And then she told me, you went from a, I don't know four to a two. I don't, I don't, I'm making that up, but I just remember she was like, wow. And she did say my number and whatever that was measurements was lower. So I was really proud of myself, <laughs> but it's, you know, they're always watching. Like we're going to watch that one and we're going to watch that one. I'm like, what does that mean? You're going to watch it. That means it's almost a cavity. Okay, and then, you know, when you're a mom and you have kids, you have to pretend like you're brave and the stuff doesn't scare you. That's the hardest part for me. <laughs> okay, you guys, we made it. Talking about all kinds of crazy things. Easy. This is an easy watercolor card. The messier the splatter and the, the watercolor, I think, the better. And none of them are going to look the same. But I really like that starry sky color. It's very deep and rich and looks good. Okay. You guys like it? I hope you do. Let's move on to, oh, okay. We're going to do my favorite project. You guys, this was the card that I laid in bed thinking about. I had, I it was one of those that I couldn't really do anything until I got this out, idea out of my head. Um, let's see. I have two versions here. They're pretty much the same, but basically this is a bridge card. We've made these in the past. It looks like that and it lays down flat. But this one is special because watch. Huh. Did you see it? The ship moves. I know, I'm an engineer. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> now, I made this up. I didn't Google it, I didn't look it up how to do this. I did it myself. So if there's an easier way to do this, don't tell me, okay? Because I was pretty darn proud of myself for making this. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. All right, now the measurements that you're gonna need for this are on the PDF, all right? So let's do some scoring here. Um, now, I want you to also think with this setup, other things that you could use. Um, the bike in the Greatest Journey. I may or may not have designed a card with the bike doing this. Um, you know, look at your stamps. What else can you make slide back and forth? And it just makes it really fun. All right, so my washing machine, my brand new washing machine is in there making a whole lot of noise. I'll tell you that story in a little while. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of Knight of Navy. Here are the measurements right here. Four and a fourth by eight. And we're gonna score the long side at one and a fourth, two and a half, five and a half, six and three fourths. 
All right, and then for the slider bridge, that's what I've named it, the slider bridge, you need a piece of Knight of Navy that is three by five and a half. And on the short side, you're gonna do one and a fourth and two and a half, okay? All right, now let's um, make this, this slider first. Um, I'm calling it a tunnel because basically you're making a little tunnel for the little slider piece that looks like this, okay? So we're gonna make just this little pocket or tunnel for this to go in and out of. So look at your dies, find a long and skinny die. If you have one, that will work. If you don't have one, what will also work is putting it on your trimmer and just cutting out a half inch section in the middle. There's no rhyme or reason, it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be precise, most of it is covered. It doesn't matter how long or short or wide or fat, it will work. Just as long as you leave this enclosed on those ends, okay? Now, we have a one and a fourth section, a one and a fourth section, and a half inch section. So you're gonna cut this little window from that middle one and a fourth section. All right, so let's run that through. This, this die right here is from the sending dies. That's what they're called, the sending dies. Again, they didn't ask my opinion about the name. Um, they're from the sending smiles bundle. You know, it has the word that says sending. It's from that bundle. All right, so here we've got this. Now we're gonna fold and score this. I'm picking up white from our previous project. All right, so you're gonna fold it into like, like a tunnel, right? And then I'm gonna use my a tear and tape. Let's see if I can find it. And we'll put tear and tape right here. Okay. Use whatever adhesive you want. I just think tear and tape fits in there really nicely. And then fold that over. Okay, so now you've made this tunnel for your little slider piece. And this piece really just needs to be a hair skinnier than one and a fourth. So one and an eighth, right? Or maybe just a little bit in between one and an eighth. Well, what would the measurement be between one and an eighth and one and a fourth? One and three sixteenths? Is that what it would be? Anyways, if it's sticking like, you can't get it in, just slice off a little sliver and then it'll go in there perfectly. Now, if you push it all the way in, you're not going to be able to get it out or it's going to be tricky to get it out. So we've got to make a little, a little handle for it. However, if the handle sticks out, then it's not going to fit real well in your envelope. Well, it's not going to fit in your envelope at all. So you got to make your handle something that can just fold up like a piece of ribbon. All right. So I've got this Knight of Navy ribbon and I'm going to fold it and staple it like that. Now the staple's ugly, so let's do a bow. I did engineered, I did, right, Nicole? I, again, I need to tell my brother. I engineered another card. Maybe I need to go back and change my degree from education to engineering. <laughs> you know what he would do? He'd roll his eyes, he would. He would roll his eyes. He is an engineer, I don't know what kind. Mechanical? I think mechanical. Okay, so put that right over the um, the staple. So then, you know, like when you put it in your card, you can just obviously fold all that down. All right, so now we're going to take the ship, and you're going to have cut out pretty much the same thing we did last time. But this time you're going to need two of these, all right? And this one of them, you just cut off that little point. And we're going to glue it right here. You know, you know what? I'm going to try something different. Let's do a dimensional, hold on. Let me get my strips. Cause the glue is kind of messy. All right. Let's try a foam adhesive strip. I think that's going to work better. All right. So put it down at the bottom of this one yeah the the one you cut the point off but the put it at the bottom okay 
Oh, <laughs> I was supposed to get my nails done, you guys, but because of the stupid washing machine situation, I had to cancel my appointment. All right, now I'm going to put that there and let's see how that works. Aha, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now we're going to glue these together like we did the last time. I'm just going to use my stamp and seal since it's just sitting right here. Cover that up. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, now here's the problem. The way that they designed this is so that this little point right here is just sticking out like that. Well, that doesn't give us very many options to adhere these together because we're not hearing it down on the back of our card. We need it to just be, you know, stuck together like this so that it'll move. So I'm going to have to adhere it kind of with the sails down below where they're probably supposed to go. Okay, I still think it's fine, right? It's still okay. So take that, get it lined up, just right there and right there, and get your dimensionals. And I'm gonna put one dimensional there, and one dimensional there, like that. Oh, no, darn it, come on squeeze back under there and put the dimensional on top to sandwich that. All right, let's look at it. All right, it's kind of low. All right, come on. Behave, behave, behave. Don't embarrass me while I'm making a video. Let's put that right there. Let's try that again. No, nope, I don't like that either. Well, we're gonna have to mess around with it a little bit. Let's see, maybe we should use a mini dimensional. Let me see how far down I want that. Yeah, it's okay like that. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Try it again. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Man, it's still really low, but we're gonna go with it. So now you've got those dimensionals on there and you're just going to sandwich it onto that piece right there. All right, and now you've got your ship. Pretty easy, right? Not, not difficult. Doesn't require a... Um, doesn't require a engineering degree. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Now we're gonna make some waves for this. I should have cut this earlier. Well, I had the cut, did we cut? Yeah, we did. We're gonna make some waves and we're gonna use those same wave dies which have disappeared. Are they on, are they over here? Yeah. Um, actually, we're only gonna use this one. So get, you've got a, I've got a piece that's like one and a half, by five and a half and I'm just gonna cut this I can't, I'm gonna do it a little bit past the middle and you'll see why in a sec we want one to be shorter than the other okay make some waves yeah <laughs> that's what we're doing making some waves okay so the reason I wanted one to be a little bit shorter is because we're gonna overlap them like that all right but wait we've got to give them some white caps Let's give them some white caps. So get your dauber. Do you guys have daubers? They're like five for five dollars. They come in very handy. And I've got some white crafting and I'm just gonna kind of run this along the edge of my waves. Okay. Um, so while I am doing this, I'll just tell you guys about the wash machine. Thank you for your input. I don't know if Heather's here, but I did get that GE smart machine. That's what she said. And whoever said, um, oh, queen, uh, the one with queen in the title, I can't remember. I, I know I considered it, but I only needed a dryer, but you know, I really wanted the matching pair. They're navy blue and they're cute. It took a little bit of convincing for my husband. So fine, we got them. So they deliver them, turn them on. They're beautiful. They leave. I walk back in. There is water everywhere, all over the floor, leaking. It finishes. I open it up. There's water in the machine. So I'm like, great. So I call them. Luckily, they were very nice. I'm taking Wink of Stella now, you guys. I'm going to go around the edge like this. It's going to kind of smooth that white. It's also going to give us a little bit of sparkle. They were very nice. And I, they said, 
okay, we'll send you out a new machine. I'm like, wait a minute, a new machine? Don't you want to just come and make sure everything is like tightened up? Like, you know, from the wall? No, we'll just send you a new one. Okay, fine. So they bring a new one yesterday and I, I didn't have, I didn't use it. They always turn, you know, they turn it on, make sure it's, they like start a load with nothing in there basically. And then they leave. So I walk in there, no water, great, everything's good, fine. So today I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a load of laundry. I go in there and I open the machine and it looks like something has exploded inside the machine. Now, granted, I have not used it one time. And I'm like, what is all this? And I look and I pull out a plastic bag. They left the bag of, you know, the book and all the papers that come with it. They left it in the machine when they started it. So now I have paper pulp all in my brand new, beautiful, clean machine. <sighs> what would you guys do? I wiped it out as best I could. I ran it twice, wiped it out, ran it, wiped it out. There's still a little bit in there and it's kind of in the crevices. Do I call them or do I just live with it? Right, Cindy? I mean, come on. And you know what they told me? The guy he said, oh, yeah, it was just a bad um, tube. You know, they bring a new tube to hook it to the water. He said the tube was broken. I'm like, so I got a brand new machine. You guys wasted a brand new machine for a tube that, was, you know, like a $10 tube. I don't get it, but they were in a hurry. They were in a hurry, and they left. And I was like, okay, but obviously they didn't take the paperwork. So, <laughs> Brandy, you think I should tell them to try again? I mean, I want to be done with it. You think? You guys think? Ah, oh, they need to bring you a new one again. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay, so I'm doing a load of, of clothes right now. So we'll see when the clothes come out. If they are covered in paper pulp, then I will call. They do, Brandy. And you know what my husband said? He said, and that's why the machine costs $900. Because they just throw them away so easily. Because they overcharge. Okay, anyway, so you guys are telling me I should call. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hate calling, you guys. I hate it. Will one of you call for me? <laughs> Yvonne, that was my thought. I needed to at least complain, right? Or tell them they need to bring me a new book. Because I want the owner's manual. Jeez. These people. These people. Okay, did you guys see what I did? I put that together with a foam strip. So that has been strike number two for this week. And the, the scary part of that leak was that our laundry room is tile, but right outside the laundry room is hardwood. And it was creeping up, creeping up. And finally, my husband got home. I'm like, let's turn off this water. He turned it off and it stopped. But I thought, God, I'm going to... The first morning I got up, the dogs, they sleep in the laundry room. They were wet. They have kennels, but they were wet. So I, I was like, that is unacceptable, getting my dogs wet. Okay, so I put adhesive, like I went a little too far right here with adhesive. But you want to put he, adhesive kind of in a U shape along the bottom. And so now he's in the waves. Look at that. Isn't he cute? You could do it a little bit higher. The wave's a little bit lower if you want. All right, I'm going to come back and read all your comments and see what you guys think. Oh, Lyndon, please bring me the ice cream. I won't also tell you guys how, here, here's, the, here's the last part of this week. Watch what I'm doing while I do this, okay? We fold this in like this, okay? I had some fraud happen on one of my accounts. And I've had to go into my bank to close my bank accounts today. Close them and reopen them. Do you know how fun that is? It's not fun at all. So I'm dealing with all that as well and all that follows. I do deserve some ice cream, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I want to show you guys, I have three papers here that I'm using. This paper, um, you're right, Jennifer. And I keep all the way home today from the bank. I keep saying there's so many other things that could have happened that could be worse, right? I mean, we're healthy, we're safe. That's really, that's really all. But man, it's just so annoying. 
So things happen in threes. I'm like, okay, that was three. Let's be done and let's have a better week next week. The good news is they did hang drywall in my house this week. When they're done, I'm going to send you guys, I'm show you a picture of the studio. Um, back to this. This is the By the Bay Designer Series paper. And this pattern I thought was the best choice. However, if I send you guys make and take packs, there's only four sheets of this in one pack. So I'm going to show you how some of the other some of the other patterns work as well. See this one? And even this I thought was really pretty. This is from the two, two mm, no, fancy floral. Fancy floral, right? That's what's called fancy floral designer series paper. So just so that you know, if you get a kit from me, your paper will be a variety of choices that I think, that I find appropriate for the ocean. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be buying like, I don't know, 10 packs of that paper. All right, so see, that's how you do that. And then take your, um, let's do it over here. Now, don't put adhesive on the slider part. Put adhesive right here, and you probably should use something stronger than seal. Lay it down flat, because this is how it's gonna go in the envelope. And then make sure that it's lined up on the edges like that. So then when it pops up, there you have your ocean liner. So cute. Wouldn't these make good birth, uh, birthday party invitations if you're having a pirate party? Yeah, they would. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurry up. Um, now, I've got two gray clouds. I went with gray this time because I was feeling very dark when I made this. Not really. It's because it's storming. And this one, we're going to just trim a little bit. And have that over here on the edge like that all right last but oh that needs to go a little bit higher because i forgot about our sentiment last but not least we'll do it real quick this is another piece of that um by the bay am i calling it the right thing mm, yes by the bay dsp and it it's like weathered wood which i really liked i'm going to stamp the sentiment in knight of navy um oh you like it good thanks guys and stamp this right here. Now, if you don't like to do this fussy cutting that I'm about to do, feel free to cut this in a rectangle or cut it with a, um, oh, you know, a banner punt, a banner die, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, you do it. Haha, <laughs> do you see what I did there? Floats your boat. Um, I'm taking a pencil <laughs> and I'm drawing the line where I'm going to cut. That way, when I'm cutting with my scissors, I don't have to like guess where my pencil goes. And if I make a mistake, I'm gonna make it with my pencil that I can erase rather than scissors, which I cannot correct. All right, so now take your paper snips and just follow that pencil line. And you can, if you have pencil line anywhere on your project when you are done, just erase it. Now, this one was a little bit tricky because the, the little lines in the wood actually look like pencil lines. <laughs> so I was like, is that a pencil line? I can't tell. So, you know, keep your eye on that. Like this one that goes right here looks like a pencil line. All right, we can weather this together. I should give that to my husband tonight after the debacle debacles of this week we can weather this together what do you guys think can you make this card i think it's a it's a pretty fancy card however i don't think it's very hard now one thing that one thing that might get you is adhesive if you get adhesive in the wrong place that's going to make it difficult look it's going behind the cloud um so you might want to play around, give it, you know, like some scrap paper, give it a try, work out the kinks, and then, and then make the one, the real one. Okay, last but not least, let's, let's clean up, and we've got our 3D project. Let me see what I can clear off of this table. Do we need this? Oh, I think we do need that again. Um, we do not need that. Why do I have this? What did I need this for? I don't think I needed it for anything, okay? 
Oh, you guys are so sweet to me. Thank you very much. You're KB Nicole ordering the bundle. I saw that comment a lot last week. Let's see if I can get you guys to cave two weeks in a row. I mean, sometimes you don't see a stamp that it doesn't jump out at you until you see somebody else do something with it. I know that's true for me. Okay, last but not least, let me show you the project and then I'll tell you what's in it. I said to my family at dinner, I have a stamp set that has a pirate ship, guys. What could I use? And immediately, my sugar-loving daughter said, Chips Ahoy, Mom. You have to use Chips Ahoy. And I was like, brilliant. That's what we're using. So my grocery store has Chips Ahoy that just come like this, two little, two little cookies. So I made the box for the, the Chips Ahoy cookies, okay? We're going to make our own little pattern paper and our patterned ribbon. Okay, you guys? Oh, and I'm gonna show you that those letters, like classic letters, new stamp set. All right, let's see what our measurements are on this one. Let me get my tray of supplies. This one has some embossing. It's kind of, kind of a lot of steps, but it's worth it. All right, we're gonna do real red. Five and a half by eight and, oh, <laughs> look at what I did. Five and a half by one and nothing. So that should be eight and a half, right? Yes, eight and a half. So if you have the PDF, just correct it. Um, we're going to score it at half an inch, one and a half, four and a half, and five and a half. Turn it to the short side and score it at one and four and a half, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. My cough is getting a little bit better, I think. Or maybe I'm just not noticing it anymore. Did I lose my bone folder? Did we use the bone folder earlier? Because it's not showing up around here. Let's see. Do I have it over here? I have a backup. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So you want to burnish your lines all the way around. So those of you in Utah, what's supposed to happen? I saw, and I know Minnesota too. What is the snow? Is there more snow coming? Are you going to live in an igloo from now on? Like what's happening? Is it going to melt real fast? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. Um, I like snow because I don't live in it, right? Um, okay. So let me tell you about this box. This is a little half inch um, tab or section over here, that's going to be the little lip that folds down into the box. So we're going to cut off these two rectangles on the end, and you want to cut that section at an angle. Okay. Now, while we're here, these, these don't cut these from the long side, go in and cut them from the short side and just cut off those corners. It's snowing everywhere but Texas, Cindy, really? Texas is like, yeah, we're, we're going back to summer. It's time. Um, I've let you guys have enough cool weather. It's time for Texas to be Texas. Ugh. All right, now here on the long side, snip these in the middle, cut those corners, snip, snip, and... Again with this, snip, snip. I'm expecting snow from now through Tuesday in Western Washington. Ugh. Yeah, you know, end of February, beginning of March, that's when we all are like, okay, we're done. No more cold weather, no more yuck. Here we just get like humid, just kind of nasty weather. And I know, you guys, it's awful. Um, no snow in Ohio. Um, Brandy, y'all have other problems in Ohio. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Monster Storm Eve on Wednesday. More to come next week. What the heck? Winners like decided to wake up. 12 and a half inches in Wisconsin. Heidi, oh my gosh. Um, did your lake get filled soon? No, it is at 4% full, I think. 3, 4%, like no, no. Mm -mm. But if you're a weather person, 
if you're a weather nerd like me, you'll know that La Nina is ending. And we're going into a neutral weather pattern in the Pacific, <laughs> which means we're supposed to get more rain. So fingers crossed, maybe it'll fill up. Usually for that to happen, it takes a hurricane, which I hate to wish for, um, or it takes a major flooding event. The last time it filled up, we had a major flooding event, which is bad. You know, we don't want that. Um, okay, these middle um, guys, they fold into the backside. We have this weather guy that he's retired. He's like one of our, you know, one of the beloved weathermen in San Antonio. He used to say, in San Antonio, we have rain bombs. It is dry, 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 dry. And then we have a rain bomb, which is exactly what it sounds like. It just... You know, we get way more than we need. We can't ever have this like happy medium, unfortunately. And so then we have lots of flooding and people die and it's bad. All right, so adhesive inside here, fold over. San Antonio is on the edge of a desert and then on the other side of a coastal plain. So, you know, we got weird weather down here. All right, so there's your box. You didn't know you were getting a weather lesson today when you came to Facebook Friday, did you? In my next life, I'm going to be a meteorologist. All right, fold this down into here like that, and there's your box. Yes, I love weather. My mom says I come from a long line of weather nerds. We all like weather in my family. All right, now there's this little tiny um, skull and crossbones. I had to cut off the edge and I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to cut off more. Sometimes when you have a stamp and you're getting that like line of ink, you know what I'm talking about, um, where you stamp it and then you get like the edge of the stamp, take your scissors and just cut that off. I've already done it on the sides, but I noticed yesterday that it's still doing it on the top. So just kind of cut off that rough edge that, you know, that kind of hard edge on the rubber. Your stamp may not be as pretty as it was, but it's going to stamp a lot better. All right, I'm going to um, I'm going to emboss these little skull and crossbones in white. Really, you just need them about right up here. I I do the whole piece, but really, you just I'm going to just do some up here and up here and down at the bottom. Um, you don't need a whole lot because they're in the background. Now I'm using Versamark, which means you guys probably can't see what I'm doing that's okay and I'll do some down here like this you could use your white craft ink but my white craft ink has been misbehaving lately so I'm not using it I'm using craft all right so now I used embossing buddy to hopefully release any static that might be hanging around Yesterday, when I, oh, come on, what? That's going to be a problem. Yesterday, when I did this, I had it noticed every time I stamped it, it left that little white line underneath it. So then I had, I had embossing powder everywhere that I didn't want it. So if you have just some hang-ons like I do, take your paintbrush and just wipe them away because they will stay there. They will not blow off like you think they're going to. All right. Now let's get our heat tool. It's hidden somewhere over here. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Sometimes I can't think of anything good. And then sometimes I have three great ideas in a row. Creativity is a weird thing. For me, anyway, it comes and goes. It's not always there. It's like a bucket that has to fill back up. I've heard people say creativity never runs out, and I don't necessarily agree with that. For me, it's like my creative batteries have to recharge. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, I've used all my creative juices, and now I can't think of anything. All right, now I'm going to use something that has been long gone. This is a distressing tool. And I linked, we don't sell this anymore. Why? I don't know. We don't sell this anymore. There is a great one that I will not mention, but I have a link if you need one on to Amazon. 
I'm sure there are other ways, like you could use like a, a straight edge or a, um, maybe your scissors to roughen up the edges of your cardstock. Some of you may have suggestions, but if you want a paper distressor, check out that link. I like it because it'll put like little, little tears in the paper, make the edge real rough. All right, see that, isn't that fun? Okay, now let's do our Ahoy. So here's the stamp set, classic letters. And if you're like me, you're like, yeah, I can't stamp those in a straight line to save my life. There's no way. Well, thank goodness we have the stamp apparatus. Um, I used the lines here and there's lines on your, on your plate too to line those up and it makes it so much easier. So I'm gonna take this and put this um, right here. It's bigger than it needs to be to give myself some wiggle room. And then we'll cut it down and we're gonna stamp that right here. This stamp set will be available starting on Wednesday along with some other online exclusive products I'm super excited about. I have no idea what's going to be in there other than what they've shown us, but I mean the surprises. I don't know, I'm super excited. You know what would be awesome? Some taco dyes. That would be pretty awesome, but I doubt it. All right, now I thought, I don't know if I like this, but I'm gonna do it again because it's kind of a fun idea. I'm taking the wheel and I probably should use my Stamparatus for that too. And you could just stamp that in the middle or you could even stamp that instead of the O. That would be cute, right? All right, where did the trimmer go? I have things all over the place now and I don't know where my trimmer went. What? Oh, here it is. I just put it completely in a different place. So then just trim this down. Whoa, hello. Okay, what is this? So just trim this down to just a strip. Let's see if I can do one inch. That might be cutting it close, but let's do it anyway. Oh, it's like perfect. Look at that. Woo. And then I've got my banner pick a punch. So we can punch these ends like this. And we're going to stamp our pirate ship in stays on. is kind of like a watercolor look so it's not going to be solid so that really didn't look very good at all that was very you my stays on needs to be re-inked let's try again but the image itself is going to look like the it's a painted ship so if you think like what's wrong with my stamp like all that right there it's supposed to be like that um okay so we're going to cut that out we're going to make some waves make some waves again Let's bring this over here. I've got a piece of Starry Sky and I've got a giant mess here on my table. Giant mess. You know, this is just in the way. There we go. Let's put that waves, those waves right there in the middle. Actually, no, we need to move you over. Sorry. To make room for our pirate ship and our dies buried under here somewhere. We've got a die that matches. And suddenly I'm really hot. All this talk about snow. And now I'm like, whoo, I need to turn on my fan. That's not a hot flash. Hmm. Those are coming. I know they're coming just around that corner. All right, so we've got that. Let's move this. There's our pirate ship. And we've got some waves. I hear someone outside the window. I think it's my neighbor. Now, let's go back to this. Oh my gosh, why do I make such a mess, you guys? I'm glad you can only see this section because if you could see the rest, you'd be like, whoa. All right, I'm gonna take this and kind of curl it like that, but then I want this part to kind of go out the ends. 
All right, and I think maybe I'm just gonna do one of these waves because two feels like too many. Um, so adhesive, and we'll just put that. That's a little bit too long. Let's trim that. So we just want a little bit like that. Okay, now let's curl it again. Like that, okay. We've got all of this ready. The last thing that we need to do, actually, we can just put this together. We're gonna stamp on our ribbon and make it pirate ribbon because that's way more fun than just plain old Sahara sand ribbon. Let's see, we'll put one there and one there. And we'll put that like that, okay? And then let's stamp our ribbon. Okay, how much ribbon do I need? Where'd my box go? Mm, about that much. All right, so now get your little skull and crossbones and your stays on. And you could just stamp the little pirates, the little skull and crossbones all the way down your ribbon. Oops, that guy's falling off the ribbon. I haven't stamped on ribbon in a long time and this just popped in my head. I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. That's cute. Now flip it over and do the same thing because I don't like how you can see that. And then also when you tie your bow, you want to be able to see it on both sides. Oh, that guy's falling off too. Oh, let's see. One, two, down. Big things were happening at our new house this week. Drywall going up. They've started clearing the front yard to put the driveway in. We have a landscape meeting next week. So you know when you have a landscape meeting, you're getting close. And then when the drywall, I feel like the drywall is about the halfway point. Cannot wait. All right, I'm gonna tie this around the box like this. Boy, my hands are filthy. Ink all over me. And there, isn't that just cute? I don't know, pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Sometimes you just do something, you're like, oh, that was really smart, Erica. And then other times you're like, that was really dumb. We got we to talk nicely to ourselves, right? I heard somebody say, the voice you hear the most is your own, right? The person that talks to you the most is, is you, so make sure you say nice things. And I thought that was pretty clever. All right, I'm just going to sandwich this ribbon on here like that. And there we go. Ahoy. <laughs> I don't know if you're having a pirate birthday or not, but it's still cute and it would make a fun gift. I know sometimes at school they have like pirate day. We had a pirate um, academic night that was we always would dress up. These would make fun little favors for something like that. All kinds of fun reasons to make a pirate box. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Yes, Pamela, give ourselves grace. It's hard, right? It is hard. Okay, I have a couple of other projects to show you. If I haven't lost them, they are swap cards. Um, this is from Pam, and I really liked how she stamped the cloud in the same color as the background and then stamped the sentiment. I thought that was really clever, and she was brave and used that detailed wave die. And then this one's really fun. These are both from Aunt Margaret, I believe, who I posted some of her projects earlier in the week. She's a my downline, and she's an amazing stamper. Oh, my gosh, why didn't I think about using that paper for the sales? You guys... That's that um, textured shimmer paper and the cute little crossbones and that. So, so cute. She always stamps the insides too. And then one more also from Ann Margaret. She's got like kind of an under the sea vibe going. That's a really smart die to pull in with that. That, um, forget what it's from. 
It's very cute. So I'll post these on Monday for you to see on my blog. And don't forget, Tuesday's the last day of celebration. So make sure you get it. every year. It never fails. Someone emails me on Wednesday morning and says, oh my gosh, I had it all in my cart and I forgot to, you know, I forgot to finish it. Don't be that person. You, because I can't help you. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, you guys. So make sure you get those orders in this weekend. Thanks, guys. You helped cheer me up. I'm going to, oh, it's from the ice cream set. Elizabeth, you're right. Speaking of ice cream, I think I'm going to have ice cream for dinner tonight. Um, <laughs> and I'm just going to pray that the rest of the weekend is uneventful. You guys have a great week. I will see you next Friday, at two o'clock, with whatever that stamp set is called that I can't think of right now. It's going to be brand new and you will like it. I promise <laughs> you guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much. Bye.